Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. In my lifetime, I have seen the Cold War between the East and the West dissolve. We welcome change and openness, for we believe that freedom and security go together. In my lifetime, I've seen the Berlin Wall come down. There are many people who feel that it is useless and futile for us to continue talking peace and non-violence. In my lifetime, I have seen apartheid dismantled. It is absolutely important that you have the knowledge to serve your country and your people. In my lifetime, I've seen the man of color in the White House. And out of many, we are one. That while we breathe, we hope. And those who tell us that we can't, we will respond with that timeless creed that sums up the spirit of a people. Yes, we can. Thank you. God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. In my lifetime, I've seen grassroots movements topple governments through the use of social media. I want freedom. Freedom. Only freedom. freedom. We can come together to heal segregation and redirect civilization to the celebration of diversity in oneness. We can make it happen. I am Brother Ishmael and I believe that world peace is possible in our lifetime. It begins with you and I now. Good morning. We are called upon to revisit the master signs of relationship. If I were having the opportunity to teach one thing in this world, it will be the art and science of relationship. We go through school, we learn many things. All the things we learn provided with food, clothing, and shelter. We are able to build nice houses. We live in beautiful structures, high-rising buildings, technology. And yet, we know very little about ourselves. We know so much about the world we are living in than ourselves. Of all the things we learn in school, nothing scientifically touches the art and science of relationship. However, from conception through birth till you die, you are bound to relate with yourself and with others. So that if you do not know how to relate with yourself, you do not know who and what you are to relate with yourself and others, then all of your getting comes into nothing. Today we're hearing of wars and rumors of wars all over, and it's all because we have missed out on the signs of relationship. It is strange that we say we are in the 21st century and we know nothing about ourselves and we're not giving attention to what is most important. Everything you have, you will leave behind. But the one thing that you don't leave behind, you take with you, is relationship. Because even the dead are still relating. Am I right? Yes. I didn't hear you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because even the dead are still relating. For Ten years after you are dead, they tell you um, they're going to do 10-year anniversary. So you are still relating, isn't it? Yes. And we still keep mentioning Kwame Nkrumah and others. I will not want to go so much into the technical details of this science because you can get it in this book called Essential Life Education. And if you are an Ethereum and you don't have Essential Life Education, the way forward and fountain of life, then you are missing out a great deal, big time on yourself. But today the study we're going through 
will be based on this master book, Essential Life Education. If there is a gift, a theory mission is given to the planet, it is this work, relationship. All confusions and wars start from the individual. If the individual is at peace with himself, his environment will experience peace. We define that peace is the identification and free expression of your innate potential. In other words, peace is not passive, peace is active. Peace is proactive. Peace is the activation of your innate potential. When you identify the qualities God created you with, when you identify your talents, you exploit them and you use them, you are a leader. Everybody in life is a leader. Everybody in life is what? The question is leading who? Everybody in life leads somebody. Because the philosopher leaves the coat cutting to the tailor. He may be a philosopher very wise, but when it comes to coat cutting, the tailor is what? The leader. So we are all leaders. When you define and identify your gift, then you can lead your community, lead somebody with your gift. And no two gifts are the same. That's why no two thumbprints are the same. So that in everybody, there is a leadership spirit of God. So we have to identify our potentials. And when we do, then all the structures we have, the brick and metal civilization we have, will become meaningful. What I mean is that it's okay to have computers, uh, church buildings, high-rise buildings, but they are useless unless there is a soul. So structures without a soul is dead. And society today is dying. Society is calling on you, the Ethereum, to wake up and do something so it comes back to life. What society needs is relationship. I said from conception, you were relating. You were in the womb, relating. You were born, relating. Growing, relating. You finish school, relating. You come up with your PhD, relating. My wife was sharing with me a dear friend of hers um, with his PhD, and his life is quite scattered because of some relational issues. And you look at it and say, with all of his PhD, when it comes to relationship, he's still scattered. It is not his fault, he has not been taught. So all schooling without relationship to me is useless. Because we are bound to relate. You're sitting by somebody, you are doing what? Relating. So relationship is the master key. And for us to relate effectively, the key is for you to know yourself and then how that self relates with other, other selves. So two things, knowledge of self and relationship constitutes what we call essential life education. This education must be mastered by everybody. When we talk about knowledge of the self, it speaks of three major areas, what we call your GPS, who, you, who and what you are in your gender, in your persona, and in your senses. Scripture says that God created us in his image and likeness, and went on to say that in the image of God created he them, male and female created he him. Meaning that each one of us is a male and female. When you discover the male quality you are and the female qualities you are, you will respect the opposite sex naturally and there will be, ha be harmony. Sometimes my wife will be behaving in some way and then I tell myself, hey, wow, is that what my feminine side is like? Hey, you mean you're for a. My womanhood is beautiful. That's all. Then you just throw certain things away, manage certain things in your mind, and you are happy all the time. Woman, my, my woman, I don't say, I don't think of her, I think of her as God, feminine nature of me. So my womanhood is what? Beautiful. And I celebrate and enjoy it. So who are you as a male, female being? What specific qualities do you have as, as a male or a female? Often you hear people say, oh, women are all the same. And what do the women also say? Men are all the same. Men are all the same. <laughs> Good morning. And you are all right. You are very correct. 
men are all the same means that there is some specific characteristics of all men. Am I right? And women are all the same mean the same thing. There are some specific characteristics of all women. It's normal. Yes. I recall once um, I was sleeping. And I just heard a scream and my daughter was screaming. And my, I could hear my wife's voice. So I woke up from the sleep. And my daughter came close to me. Hey, the house is burning. The house is burning. Wasn't my daughter or my, my wife calling? The house is burning. I just got up. Went to the corridor, and I think my daughter was, was using some candle. It has fallen something, and the place was burning. And they were all like screaming, Hey, Daddy, oh, no, hey, hey, oh, mommy, mommy, hey, hey. I just got up, saw it, took some cloth there, pam, 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 put this off, walked back to the room, and lay down. <laughs> my daughter has not for- forgotten that story. And I said, that is the, the male nature. We, 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 we male nature is to talk around it. Am I right? They could be talking in the house with a word. Bent. But a, a man was there. Bam, bam, bam. Finish. Go. Sleep. No, no question asked. No argument who set the, the fire. I mean, this, the, the man has done, done his part. Am I right? But if they have also not done their part, the house will still have what? Bent. If they have not screamed, hey, now they, oh, mommy. If they have not done it, I wouldn't also have woken up, am I right? So we need each other anyway, don't we? <laughs> Often we look at who did the right thing, and then we say, I am the, the better one. But it all blends all the time. It all blends all the time. So the one thing you need to know is who and what you are as a male-female being and the, your male-female qualities. What are your male-female qualities? As a woman, what are your male qualities too? You may know you are female, but what are the male? And vice versa. When we come to science, science also proves to us that we are male-female beings. Because the sperm filled with male qualities. The ovum filled with female qualities. Meant to form me, a man. Meant to form her, a woman. So, we are all from as male, female beings. Yes, another thing you need to know is who and what you are in your persona. The Bible says you were created in God's image and likeness. The question is, which of the images of God do I have? When I liken God to the sun, the sun's color is one. But when it passes through the prism, it breaks out various colors. So God is one, but God has many qualities. And we speak of God's images. And which of them were you loaded and coded with uniquely for you to be here? You need to ask yourself that question. The book of Galatians 5, 22 to 24 tells us that the fruit of the Spirit is love, peace, joy, harmony, meekness, gentleness, and so on. It's also speaking of the images or the fruits of God. So which of the fruits or images of God were you loaded and coded with before you were born? When you know it, then you found your spiritual persona. The word persona simply means your facade, the image you put on for life. But beyond the outer facade, there's an inner image, which is the inner image of God. Hence we say spiritual persona, the spiritual images you have taken. And even though you've taken those images, you are still even bigger than those images. Hence we call it your spiritual persona. How are you constituted? What are your good qualities? If you don't know your good qualities, your good qualities will be the very reason why you will fall in life. We'll soon come to discover. Then another thing you need to know is that who am I in my senses? How do I operate in my senses? In the book of Genesis 3, verses 1 to 17, it spoke about the fall of man. And that whole story about the fall of man it's about how man yielded to the persuasion of his senses. It's not a historical event. Bible says, and Eve saw the fruit, Adam saw the fruit, and they, were, they all agreed that it is pleasing to the sight and good for food. So you see, sight and taste led them to yield. And that's what happens to all of us. We always yield to temptation 
by the persuasion of the senses. It is what you see, smell, taste, touch, hear, that offends you. And it's the same that makes you follow some discipline, some programs, some people, the same. So when you take mastery over your, your senses, then you are in true mastery. A young man gave a testimony here. He was sent by his parents to come and live with me for three months from the US. You all know the story I'm going to say. And he told you that when he came to me and one of the conversation, he was telling me that he's realized that he's more stable when he has a girlfriend. And I wouldn't answer, I just smile. When he talks about when he goes back, he will want now to be sincere and date just one woman. I just smile. I don't say yes, I don't say no. But by the middle of the program of ELED that I was taking him through, he himself came to me and said, I don't think I have to think of woman at this time. I have to think of knowing who I, I, I am first before I can even think of any woman. Daddy, what do you think? I smiled. <laughs> I don't say yes, I don't say no. I want you to make your own decisions. And at the end of the day, he concluded, no. He is not going after women any longer till he finds himself. Yes? That is a theory mission. So we need to know who and what we are in our senses. Then we can enter into relationships. And there are basically three types of relationships. Social relationships, environmental relationships, then economic relationship. Social relationship deals with your marriage, parenting, family, the community you live in, your nation, and the good you are doing or bringing, and how you are also benefiting from your environment, your uh, social families, your church. This is all social relationship. Then we have economic relationship, the quality service you give and the money, who is your business partner and why. The choice of your business partner and everything depends on relationship. You understanding who you are, how you operate. I know, for example, that if I were to employ somebody and the person cannot keep to, to time, I will always be offended. And if I would not want to have heart attack, then I will have to, to dismiss you because I have a disease that cannot tolerate lateness. That's my nature. I, like, I love to be prompt like the, the, the fires, all right? I want to be that prompt. So you have to know your nature, then you know who works well with you. Yes, environmental relationship deals with you and the, the environment, sanitation, the abuse of natural resources, our forests, our water bodies, and so on. We have to relate with, with them. So all of these three types of relationship require that you discover who and what you are. So let's start by discovering who we are in our gender. When we know who we are in our gender, persona, and senses, you know your being. Then you know how you operate. Then when you know how the other person uh, operates, then you can cooperate. When I know how I operate, and you know how you operate, then we can what? Cooperate. And that's what it's all about. When we come to study the nature of our being as gender beings, sticks and holes, or male and female beings, we realize that we have three ways of looking at ourselves. We can look at ourselves as sticks and holes, and by sticks and holes, I mean looking at the genit genitalia of men and women. What separates us as men and women is our genitalia. When we look at, at, at them, we realize that their nature is also the characteristics of our being. The male genitalia is a rod, it goes straight in front of him, and the female genitalia is round and goes deep. And similarly, when you observe, you realize that the psychology of the men and women is in the shape or nature of their genitalia. So as six and Paul's beings, we come to realize some of these qualities. That now, how many women here have made this statement before? Men are one-way people. Let me see your hand. Oh, raise it high. Women who have said men are one-way people, you've discovered that before. Oh, raise it high up. 
and keep it high. Hey. Thank you. And you are not r- wrong. And men, when your, your woman tells you, as you are a one way man, don't get offended. It is true. What is natural must not offend. What is normal and natural must not offend. We are one way. Men are linear thinkers, just like their genitalia. They're going straight to the, con- to the conclusion, find out this is what it is. I, f- I finish. I- I'm-, I'm done. Women want to think of the details. What happened? How did it happen? How far be- did it go? We need the two for creation. We need what? Just as we need the two genitalia to come to Congress for birthing of children, the same way we need these two characteristics to come together. So we come to realize, for example, that the male organ is always outside. You can see it superficial. So sticks, men are uh, superficial, straightforward. They are obvious. They stick to decisions. And um, they are initiators. All right? Even during romance, the men usually initiate the arousal first. Am I right? Yes. I don't hear you. Yes. So you realize that they are initiators. Quick, they finish. Huh? <laughs> if a woman says she's going to the shop to buy uh, nine items, how many items will she bring, bring home? <laughs> <laughs> ah, then you know the story. Plenty, am I right? <laughs> If a man says he's going to the shop, he's buying five items home, how many would he bring home? Five, or probably even less, am I right? <laughs> right. So, you come to know that women go round in circles, they are detailed, they look deeper, they are unpredictable, and so on, because the genitalia is deep, you can't predict what is inside. So that's the way they are also in, in, in character. Shake hands with somebody and say, I know you. You are a male, female being. Now shake hands with the other person by your, your, your side and say, I promise you, next week when I come to church, I wouldn't come alone. Others deserve to know this. I'm promising you that I will bring them. Amen. Should we study this alone? I don't hear you. No. If they don't know, you still wouldn't be in peace. Yes? Again, when you look at men and women, another characteristic that differentiates them um, is that it's what we call 25-25. And that was the question I, I asked. A woman goes to the shop to buy 10 items. She will bring a whole basket of 50 items. Am I right? And you are nominee Adolfo. The person echo into the tree be a watcher or crown chronomo. So called Bible, Moses and Muma a decay, a genesis, T Baco and Chicha Media Nosia. Then Yanko Pon can say, Mumia Mo Nipa, say ye in Cecil. The Nipa or Nam Yasi or ye Yanko Pon in Cecil. Or Do and EJ and Kunim D and Wardin, a ye to me a one yam Nina war or Nipa does any. Ni atu sumi mienu sa oko Moses ngoma edi kai timi mienu e Genesis timi mienu enti chemo nsoa o si ne nyame fa doti eno nyu onipa eno humi gu ni mo enkwa humi no be ye o kra ti asifu enti nipa ye kra eno o sign e ye nipa duai na ushe ya brabo mo ye ba ye kusku ni sunya eni ama bibre. Ni nyina kire ye ekwan ye nam so a nya ye be fira nya ye be nom ba bi ye be da e xe ye ma em ye timi nya sa ni ye me ne mo na ka e kra no e fa no ye xe de ni school be bre a e kire ye se nya e kra no e se ye xe ne ma e fa ye won sorry be bre e so sorry ni nyina di a sorry entity ye ni ni kire kire so ne mo pese wudi Jesus and Titia in a church as well. A bemoan who say, Nipa a ye cra and or sign a ye on a moa. Ne a se unya a sorry a a beboa. So I call a sorry in few be bree. No one nim say, O ye home. 
na unim ni enti a oba awiase unim ni a oba ha se oba ye bo type 40 a obo ade nyankopon no esoma se bra ha be ye unim ba bi a u firi ha wo kwa e che se wa bra bo no e hwete kwa unhia sori a ebe ma san che chire yi nyina a ebe sho ma wo honhun mu a wa na mo a u betu nyina u be hun se wo ye kra na wa she kra no ma ama wo do suban wo ni je suban wo tumi a ewo mu a eye nyame tumi a obo wo se ne se so no ni nyina da di onua ya ben wo enti se wo ba etiria mission headquarters a ye wo sakaman wo fri sakaman junction now do we need to rest at Kamaya? O traveling stations me no. I want to sign in for so a interior mission. It did so. Pepe pepe. Into your turn safro. Because you don't be a anopa. You just here no watch any fun. You are going to pay no do me no. O koko masin so a interior mission. I want Deba Court Hotel. I want Adiemra. Yes, turn safro. And so you can see that. And up a beer, if we don't do a copy, no do me no. Yeah, yeah, fence and fence, mo. But can you home? Ne who would yummy sue any wo home home so buy? Send ya a tea, no one ante a war home home. O called Takra didn't swan a war, an agi estates. A ube who ye a signboard a war a quine home. I also question that no pay beer free non crown a copy, no do me no. Sa and person, person, and church, a cosso. I said, We took a quite brochure in Swan. A war, UK, United Kingdom. Ye war 58 Goring Park Avenue. A war mission. And he also obeyed me any a year I didn't get home. And I said, O call United States and Swan, America. A Honson, ye war Los Angeles. Ah, obey me. I I be shy. I am ho. Ni ni we din kita ho. We ni anso se u timi ni headquarters ni din kita ho. Address ni telephone number sa. Edo be ko UK. Ni US ni ni le de konsabeka. Onya omrasun. Se ni obe peja. E wo home home ni ni amemu. Se ni obe hu u ni ame tu mi ni Christo su a wo ye ye fro bra. Na beka etiria mishi hon. Na ye ma nipa enkwaji e mwe peye. Nyame nishirao. The mission is passionate about creating a world family of God that embraces all of mankind, irrespective of race, creed, or culture. And periodically, it celebrates the all Face day with people from all religions. <laughs>